sex videos, email, and identity theft. Hollywood is a very prime target. Today, U.S. Attorney Preet Bharara unveiled a bombshell case. Alonzo Knowles was arraigned tonight in federal court. The government says Knowles gained access to the email accounts of top celebrities, combed through their inboxes for sexually explicit videos in addition to TV and movie scripts. He allegedly then tried to sell the videos and scripts for major profits. The information is essentially worth millions of dollars, if not billions of dollars. I mean, imagine if someone got their hands on the footage of Star Wars before it aired. This is just the latest case to expose how vulnerable celebrities and Hollywood giants can be when up against hackers. In the summer of 2014, A-listers Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Upton, and even Kirsten Dunst were exposed. A hacker obtained racy photos of them and others through their iCloud accounts and posted them on the World Wide Web. And months later, it was a major Hollywood studio under cyber attack. I think that Sony really hurt someone. People lost their jobs over that. Uh, Sony took a hit financially over that, and we're going to see more of that. On November 24, 2014, hackers calling themselves the Guardians of Peace pulled off a major attack on Sony Studios, releasing info from the salaries of employees to unreleased films. They demanded Sony stop the release of The Interview. Part of the movie's focus, an assassination attempt against North Korean's Kim Jong-un. You two are going to be in a room alone with Kim, and the CIA would love it if you could take him out. We experienced the worst cyber attack in American history and persevered for three and a half weeks under enormous stress and enormous difficulty. We have persevered and we have not backed down. Sony eventually released the interview, and the FBI said North Korean sponsored hackers were likely to blame for the Sony breach.